hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up uh, you can hear the microphone actually uh, but it does make a lot of noise uh, can you hear me talking right now yes you do hear me it makes a lot of noise uh, we can improve this in today's video I'm gonna show you how a condenser microphone works first of all we're gonna uh, look at a condenser or a, cap uh, a capacitor and then we're gonna discuss how a condenser microphone works so a capacitor a condenser is just uh, two plates separated by a dielectric medium so if I have a non-conducting medium between two plates and I connect wire or wires to each of them then this becomes a capacitor or a condenser uh, how you get your your capacitors or condensers is some of these are rolled up and then connected wires connected to the ends of it and then the the material in between is a dielectric medium non-conducting medium between the two plates so that's how you get your capacitors um, you have in your radios or TVs your electronic devices so you're gonna have two wires and then just have terminal on one side so this is coiled up inside but actually what happens is you have two plates two parallel plates separated by a medium so we're gonna go straight into um, a condenser microphone so a little while ago when I was in secondary school I think that would be a couple of seconds ago. Um, I did reverse engineering of a capacitor or a condenser microphone. When I opened it, I found something interesting. I found something look that looks like this. And then in the middle of it was kind of stud. I don't know what it's called, but something steady like this. And then I saw something that looked like a polyethylene lane or transparent plastic bag on it it's not a tra plastic bag but I believe that was the dielectric medium and then there was another piece of material I'm gonna use a different color there's another piece of material sitting right on top of it all right and then to this terminal here uh, this one I call the star was connected um, a trace PCB trace and then the one sitting right on top here had nothing connected to it but before I open it up, when you when you take out this black piece on top of the, the microphone, um, you notice there's a hole, tiny hole like that. And then this is a metal or a conducting material, conducting housing. Uh, let's just wipe this place. Okay. So this is a conducting housing here. And then if you look at the back of your microphone, the back side of it, you will notice there is a, a PCB trace that goes to the side and that will be the ground and all the earth then, so you have this opening here the housing and then the stud will be standing right here and then the other two plates the dielectric medium was standing across and then a little bit of plate sitting here and then that's it so then they have a, a effect feed effect transistor inside um something like this the normal symbol of a field effect transistor so they have the the gate connected to this piece and then this uh connected to the case or the housing and then the source so the drain there and then the source connected um, going out going out to uh, whatever you're gonna connect later so but when it gets to your radio you have these two wires coming in what you normally do is you connect this to your, through a resistor and then a capacitor here goes to your output so this is pull up and then this is your ground so 
Um, I, I saw this and it was interesting to me, but I didn't do all this. I just re reproduced this or reverse engineered that. And I'm going to show you what. All right, over here, you can see a reproduction of what I ju was just explaining to you. Right here, I just have a, a tape, a piece of tape. Who doesn't like drinking a pop? So I took a Sprite can, an empty one. I, fin I drank it and then have the empty uh, can. Then I cut it up. So I have three pieces right here. So there is this outer piece here. Then there is this middle piece, which will be my uh, moving plate. And then I didn't have any dielectric medium, so the air will be my dielectric medium here. Then I have another piece from the bottom side. Uh, if I can pull this off, I'll show you. All right. So I have another piece from the bottom side. That means I've broken this. I don't know if it's going to work again. But I have a piece from the bottom side. And so I have t two wires. One connecting to this bottom side and one connecting to this top side. All right. Pulling this off was not a good idea before testing it. <laughs> uh, at least for you guys because I already tested it. I pulled it off too quickly. I shouldn't have done that. All right. So, so I have two 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 uh, plates here, the outer plates, and then the inner plates that I've shown you, and then there's a piece that was just dangling in between, just like I have on my screen right here. On the left side, you can see the um, our design today is going to be mimicking this. So we took. So we took a pop can and cut the, cut out the the can and then just made discs from that. We have three of them. And then one of them made a little bit hollow. So we can have air going through that. And then we just place them together. Have wire on one and wire on the other and have the other piece just dangling in between them. So we've made this then that then that then we have wires here and there and that's all so when we speak air goes in here this piece vibrates and changes its uh, relative location between the top plate let's call this a and b when you change that the value of the capacitance changes and when that value changes the electrical signal going through that changes and then um it, it take it to the amplifier and it's amplified from there so we have built an amplifier all right so that's our lm386 amplifier we're adding this microphone that we just made now um you can call it pop can microphone and these are just material from the home tape and then all that so let's test it out and see how it works i'm going to use this speaker right here first of all we're going to try with our, our actual condenser microphone we'll see how it works and then we're going to try with what we've just made and see if it works as well. All right, so I'm just going to connect this condenser microphone. Um, being careful to observe, you can see the grounding wire goes into one of the connectors. So I'm just going to connect that to one of the wires. And then I connect the non-grounding one to the red one to be my positive signal and then the other one the ground right so have it in i'm just gonna plug it in into my amplifier here ground and inputs all right so let, let's try it all right so you can see the microphone works So um, we're just going to take that off and we're going to try our homemade. And again, we've already screwed this up because we pulled off the wire ill-advisedly, I would say. All right, actually. All right. So you can hear the sound. Um, it's not as clear as we want it, but it does work. Okay. Not as clear. Makes a lot of noise. Uh, you can hear the microphone, actually, uh, but it does make a lot of noise. 
Uh, can you hear me talking right now? Yes, you do hear me. And it makes a lot of noise. Uh, we can improve this. You can improve it. Okay, so change the, the size, the effective area of the two plates. And then you will change the capacitance such that when there's a variation, a little vibration, a little variation, it will create a bigger impact. Yeah, as I speak, I create vibration in the air, through the air, and this vibration is causing the plate to, to, to shake or to move. And as this plate moves, it changes the effective area between the two plates, and therefore the capacitance changes. And then the wire takes the signal to the amplifier. This resistor here pulls up the signal, pulls up one plate to the positive, and the other plate is grounded. So when the effective, when the current or the the, the capacitance value between the the, the 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 terminals change, this other capacitor here, fixed value capacitor, takes the, the variation and amplifies it through the amplifier, and you hear it being interpreted by the speaker. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That'll be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.